Hello guys, welcome back to Neon Chrome. I've been playing the game for two hours today, just building up the attributes. So I got 17 in health, 15 in damage, 20 in luck, 21 in energy, and 7 enhancement slots. Everything is pretty self-explanatory, except maybe luck, so let's just take a look at that. Improves the chance of critical hits, so that's the first component. Increases the amount of credits looted, that's the second component. And makes uncommon loot more probable, that's the third component, so it's a very good attribute to uh, have, especially for farming some credits to level up with. Now I already played to the next boss, it's called Moldorm, and I didn't beat it. But I also unlocked a lot of stuff that we can uh, pack when we go worm hunting. By the way, with Moldorm, I think it's a reference to the Zelda boss. And Worm is Orm in Danish, and Moldorm is the name of the boss. So first let's take a look at the enhancements. I think there's 13 different ones you can unlock in the first chapter and a lot in the second chapter. So I unlocked most of the stuff that you can get in the first chapter. And that adds to the replayability of the different chapters. The first one I want to get before we head out is this one. So we'll start with it. It's tip how Achilles targeting the number of one choice when you need to take on that giant death robot with 50% increased damage to bosses you can hit them where it hurts. So we'll get that. So now that we start with that one, we'll look at the abilities. And I unlocked the grenade launcher. A grenade launcher with grenades that bounce off walls and they explode on impact with enemies. And they fly in a straight line. I find that this is pretty good. So let's get that. And for weapon. So for the worm boss I think we need something with pinpoint accuracy. So let's get uh, this iron submachine gun. And that's it. It's time to head out worm hunting. Let's go. So we have the choice between a corporate soldier, a techie or an assassin. I really enjoy playing the assassin, the extra damage and speed and the shadows that you can hide in. It just makes a very dynamic class to play, so let's pick the assassin. So now we have the neural link to our asset here. Now if you wanted we could start uh, at level 1 and it would pick up enhancements and um, be stronger after we beat the spider boss before we get to the worm. But to keep this video short, <laughs> also in case we fail, <laughs> I'd have to retry and get to the boss again. So let's start in the second elevator. So we start our search for the worm at level 5 and we have to get to level 9 to fight Moldorm. So let's roll. Pop up little turret, there we go. So here's a shield guy, just need to take him out before he turns around, which we did not do. So if we can uh, hit him from behind his shield, we can damage him. Or we can melee strike him from here, like that. The sneak attacks on the assassin are just fantastic. I really love those. There's a healing station there, but we don't need it. We don't have any uh, damage taken yet. Let's grab the key here. So we'll just remember where that healing station is in case we need it. Which probably will be soon, before later. I took out a bit on the wall there. There's a turret that'll pop up. Come on. There we go. Let's grab the loot before we move on to the next area. So there's an enhancement station. And we did hit the guy in the back with the shield. So we have to enter from the other side. Let's see what we get in the lottery. Now this is another unlock I got in, I think I got it in chapter 1. That we can uh, instantly get our health back up to full. And this neurocore stasis field creates a field that slows down both biological and electrical signals, slowing down enemy movement around you. I really love this one. It's a passive. And it creates this shield around us that will slow down enemy movement and is very useful. 
So if we can get this guy in the back, we couldn't. Because he, he just got slowed down now by our shield there. Which is excellent. Let's we just hit him with a melee strike, go back and hit him again. She wasn't shooting anyway, so he would have to close into melee range. Alright, uh, there's another turret up here that'll pop up. Got a critical on it. Get this guy in the back with a sneak attack. I uh, wonder what this does. I did press it. I don't know what it did exactly. Got a sneak attack on that guy. Ah, right, maybe it we'll just break through here. I think it opened up this door. Vampire booster. Let's just activate that in a second. So you can get a level 6 SMG. Might be worth taking that. Yeah, let's grab that. I will use this vampire booster, and what that does is that it kills anything that we get in contact with, like so. And it gives us some health back. So we just move into range of everything, and the vampire booster will take care of it. So now it uh, dissipated. I shoot this guy in the back. And head on to the next level. Level 6. See what we have here. Put some sneak attacks in if we can. So you threw a grenade. If you take too long on the levels, uh, we will get intercepted sometimes by a strike team. That can be fairly hard. Let's use a grenade here. I didn't actually hit. But it just goes in a straight line. And then uh, explodes on impact. Use one there. And if it doesn't hit anything, it'll bounce off walls. And that's also an unlock that you can get in the game. There's really a lot of uh, enhancements and other stuff that you can unlock in the game. I did miss that guy as well. But some of them have a lot of uh, HP, so, so using a grenade sometimes can be a good idea for that. Instead of taking damage. So you unlocked a different item here. Crashware, friend of mine. You won't trigger mines anymore. So that's an enhancement that we can get now. There's not really anything in there. That's for our hacking chests and we're not a hacker, so we're just gonna leave that alone. We'll hit this guy with a melee strike. There we go, sneak attack. I'll just uh, bomb that guy with the grenade launcher. Ah, I missed. <laughs> And I also missed getting him on the second try. We grab the red key. I just need to reload here. And you have to be very careful with your grenades because uh, they will hurt you if you hit yourself with them. Which I think I did. Uh, oh, there's a turret there on the wall. So the stasis field will give you some more time before uh, the enemies will get to you. So we have a platoon incoming in 8 seconds. So we really need to haul ass. Uh, reinforcements are after you. So where should we fight them? Probably in here where we have some uh, space to maneuver. So they'll be coming for us now. There we are. He didn't see us. Alright, here we go. Got free with the first one. I think we took them out off screen. Yeah, with the grenade. Using the grenades for all of those shields are a very good idea. That will be a problem. He is not speed over the shield, but we have tons of grenades. Of course, I have to actually hit him. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to miss with all of those grenades. So we have the red key. I'll move down here. There's another turret. But another big problem, and uh, they're standing with the back to you. There's another enhancement station. 
So we could get this, so we won't trigger mines, or we could get this one. Increases manual reload speed by 50%, or uh, Omni Tech instant credits. This one you would really use if, uh, if you were trying to farm some credits to increase your stats. But this uh, run we're trying to actually kill the uh, boss, so we'll get this one with a faster reload speed. And we'll just head straight into the elevator and move on. So level 7. Just two levels out of uh, getting to the boss. This one's gonna pop up. I just don't wanna to pop up when I'm not looking at it. Here's a plasma shotgun level 7. Organic damage plus 30. So let's just get that. And here's a weapon loot level, weapon upgraded, rate of fire, so now a uh, shotgun will fire faster. I also think that we'll find better loot. Uh, he just shot us with a rocket launcher, I think. <laughs> so we should be uh, fairly careful around those guys. Here's a vampire booster, that's good because we're low on health. So we'll just destroy all of this stuff here. Get our health back up. Uh, red key, we have to grab that over here. Now the vampire booster is running out. So here's another turret on the wall. Take it out with a grenade. There's the red door. Let's just hit down here. I'm not really concerned with anything else than actually making it to the to the boss and trying to take him out. Ah, he fires a rocket there and it hit us. Here, have a grenade. And that also opened up the door in here. Let's just grab these credits before we head on and loop this box. So you unlocked another item, so I have unlocked 12 out of 14. Omnitech floor bonus, get 500 credits each time you move up a floor. So that's good for farming, but we don't need it for fighting worms. So we're at level 8 now, but we're dangerously low on health. So we have to be careful and see if we can find somewhere where we might get our health back. Because otherwise uh, it might be a very short <laughs> worm fight. Ah, uh, we came from there. So we'll head north. There's a secret level, but they can sometimes be more dangerous than the actual level itself. So I'm not sure I'm gonna change that when we're this close to the boss. I do want to loot that, but I just need the laser to move past. So here another unlock Medi plus nanites. The nanites will turn 10% of collected energy cells into health. Well, that would be an excellent upgrade. Did we take him out? Yeah. Another thing you can do with these uh, secret chambers is that you can head into them if you get a fire team coming after you. That is a means of escape from that. So what do we have in there? Nothing. We do have to go in here. Ah. I'm not taking any chances because we're still low on health. Ah, this guy shoots as well as has a, a shield. So now we can shoot him in the back. You can just run around the environment sometimes and then that will uh, help you take them out when you can shoot them in the back when they're not looking. So we upgraded our weapon, more DPS and higher loot level. Got a sneak attack on that one. We have a pretty powerful weapon. But we are very low on health. We really would like to find something that might get our health higher up before we get to the actual worm. There's the red door. Shoot this guy in the back. Ah, he's a shield as well. Just take him out with a grenade on this guy. 
just want to be sure that we didn't miss any health in there, but we didn't. That's a rocket launcher guy. I just want to check if there's anything down there. Just don't want to get damaged by that turret there. Nothing. Alright, we'll have to go up here. Sneak attack. Ah, he has a lot of HP to a grenade to the face. And it hardly scratched him. I almost hit myself with a grenade there. He's turning this back, so we can take him out without spending a grenade. So here's an enhancement station. We might get lucky. Yeah, we did. We have the Medi plus floor heal, so we can uh, heal 15% after each level. Or we could get the nanites, 10% of collected energy cells into health. We'll get this one. So we slowly can uh, regain some health. <laughs> ah, it's, it's tight. Oh, I did get hit. Damn it. Ah! The turret shot me through the wall. I wasn't expecting that. But don't worry, I'll just uh, do another run and edit out everything to level 9. And we'll pick up from there again. Alright guys, I made it to level 9 with an assassin, so we just need to make it through this level and we'll get to the boss. Let's just take a look at the, this build that I've got now. His name is Bobby Turing, got the grenade launcher, and we are an assassin again. But I unlocked this railgun and picked it up, and it's absolutely excellent. It can shoot through environment, not all of the environment, but most of it. It can shoot through uh, enemy shields. And it still does decent damage, even if you shoot through a wall. Its drawback is a slow firing rate. And I picked up a lot of enhancements on the way as well. This is the standard uh, assassin one, where we are concealed in shadows. And this one is the 50% increased damage to bosses. And these are the nanites, 10% of collected energy cells into health. And submunitions, every explosive you deploy has a 20% chance to spawn 5 small submunitions when we uh, shoot our grenades and 10% speed increase and 10% health increase so let's go so we should be able to shoot through this wall <laughs> ah this melee strike it did hurt me a little bit though and we can do the same here but we can shoot through the shields so it doesn't matter where we hit them upgrade the weapon a little bit with dps this wall we can't shoot through but most of them you can. Let's throw a grenade over there since we can get two with one. Same thing here. And now that we have the nanites, we'll heal a little bit when we pick up energy. And here's an upgrade station. So we can either heal 15% HP after each level, or we could do a manual reload speed by 50%, or undetectable while stationary. Which we already are, because we are an assassin, so let's get the extra heal after each level. Ah, we moved through some fire there. That was a mistake. Seems to drop some kind of AoE fire. Now we can shoot through the shields, they're not quite as dangerous, the shield carriers. Let's grab all of this stuff and this one will pop up. So we do uh, need to grab some health, preferably. So then we, uh, we Truck that the uh, munitions charge with a 20% chance. I created those little five extra grenades, so to speak. Ah, missed that toy over there. We did take damage from that. So 
So now we just need to open the red door. So if you run down and press the button, that should uh, get rid of these lasers. There we go. Ah, we need to get out of the way of those grenades. Check out the shield. Really striking. So we're doing okay, but not great on health. But there's something over there that might help. But we do need to uh, get over there and press the button without dying. There we go. All chapter 2 unlocks found. Choose unlock terminal reward so we could change an ability to frag grenades, which we don't want. So let's just get 500 credits. There's uh, a weapon upgrade in there. I think we should get that before we head out. Let's just turn this off. Grab the key. Uh, check out this turret so we don't get shot by. So we can uh, pick up a burst rifle instead, and I think we'll do that because we do need some uh, some more firepower for the boss. As much damage as we possibly can put out, and and I don't think the ready gun would be the best for that. And this weapon is higher level anyway, so let's head in here. So the next one is the boss, level 10. There should be some healing here. Yeah, right here. So we heal up. So now we're at full health. If we were more damaged when we got here, we would not be at full health. I don't think it heals you all the way. It just heals for a certain amount. Let's just grab all of this stuff before we fight the boss. I missed a couple of chests here. So the elevator's over there, but this door's locked. And that's because we have to go in here, and there's the boss, Moldorm. And these uh, blue things here are shields, and we have to take out the shield and then do damage to that segment of him to, uh, to kill it. And then some nasty stuff will happen after a while when we put enough damage on him. And we'll send these little guys to try and annoy us. This would not be nice if we had the uh, railgun. Ah, I'm taking too much damage from the little guys there. I know he's throwing mines. Ah, don't step in those. I'm pretty low on health now. Of course, we should loot this stuff to get some. Uh, Grenades back up. So now he's sending out better drones to try and take us out. Just get rid of some of these before we uh, go back to the worm. So now we have some energy also. So where did he go? <laughs> some mines and little drones everywhere. Just use a few grenades here. They have a lot of HP, those uh, drones. Ah, here he is. Alright, so I'm out of energy now. So I can't throw the grenades. And it's just been putting. Ah, a lot of incoming fire there. Putting mines everywhere. And a home seeking missile. So now we have him. There we go. Centipede down achievement. 
So yeah, you need a weapon that does a lot of pinpoint damage and you need to avoid all of the shit <laughs> he throws at you. Like mines and little drones and the drones get stronger the more damage he takes. So we got a level 14 burst rifle here. We'll grab that. That's better than what we have. Even though the burst rifle is not my uh, favorite thing. So we should have opened up an elevator now. So I just want to make sure that we clean out everything we can get to here without uh, going into any mines on the way. So now we equipped another railgun, which is nice. That's exactly what I want. When we try to make it further up the tower, now that we don't have to deal with a bus, we can upgrade the weapon level here. We could also trade it in for an SMG level 15. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Even though I would rather have a railgun level 15. So I think we cleaned up everything in here. So let's head back out. To the elevator, it's right up here. And we'll grab the loot. So this is the first time I've uh, cleared this boss. So we can continue up the tower to level 11. The mainframes. As I guess there's a little story segment here, like there were with the exhibit. Throwing a grenade there for good measure. So what's going on here? There's a loot box here for weapon upgrade. So you get a level 17 assault rifle. Let's do that. Oh, something's gone. Someone has been murdered in there. Is there anything up here? Yeah, there's a control room. Ah, he did hit me. Take these guys down there. Let's do that with grenades. So we took every. Oh, it's a guy there. <laughs> he was hidden in the blood stains. Maybe he played dead. So press that button there, and we can head in here. I thought you should see this. Observe the process of my transcendence. When the upload is complete, my power will be limitless. I will be Neon Chrome. I will become a singularity and the humans become my tools. Something nasty almost always happens after he's done talking. I guess this time's not different. We we'll have a lot of uh, enemies to fight before we can continue. Is that the last of them? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> so maybe we have to run. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. So you can lock them in there. Looks like they might just respawn all of the time. I think the elevator is down here somewhere. Uh, it spawns little spiders after it dies. That's the first time I've seen that. I think they're just respawning all of the time. Let's take it out with a grenade there. Where's the elevator? Oh, it's over there. Let's 
Get the little guy. There we go. Grab the stuff. And now the elevator door is open, so we do just need to leave. I will heal up first. Here we go. So we made it to level 12. And here we need to take out four of these before we can enter the elevator. Done reloading when that came out. There's something up here we can grab. Some more loot. So we, uh, I need some. Uh, I need some grenades for this. I'm just gonna have to melee them. If you don't have any grenades or anything like that, uh, you can always. Resort to melee with the shield arrows. There's a big gun down there. Ah! That one really hurts when it gets close. It starts spinning around and hitting you. So apparently I didn't take out the turret. to melee these guys as well. Ah, damn it. So we made a ton of credits and the highest level ever, level 12 of the high rise. And we took out 165 enemies. And that's as far as we got in this run. We took out Moldworm, the boss, and we opened up the third elevator here. So we can continue from there in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.